Burn the witch. <clears throat> ah. All right, folks, been a little bit since we've done a video, so let's do one. I was supposed to, if you watched our last video, it happened to be a beer of the weekend video. After that, Xander and I were supposed to go camping, he and I. Uh, it never happened. Stephanie's van ended up needing repair. So the time I was supposed to go camping, I ended up repairing her van. It's been a few weeks altogether since that happened. And I've had to repair on the Jeep. Jeep's been a real pain in the butt here lately. Um, it's got issues. We got to work through them. We got to get to work, so we're working through them. Uh, computer board in the Jeep went out, so we had to change that out, and it's still acting glitchy. The new computer board is acting glitchy. You can't get a new one. You got to get a refurb. So, anyhow, uh, what do we got behind us? See Project Sin back there? We are fixing to do some videos on Project Sin. Last you knew about it, it blew the motor. I don't know if you see this big bean here. This has something to do with Project Sin. I've got another one right here. But you'll see that in the Project Sin video. Be watching for it. It's going to take a couple months to get this accomplished, I'm afraid. But we're going to do what we can. Burn the Witch. Black Lager. Never settle. Always metal. Metalsome Brewing Company out of Cordova. Tennessee. I'm going to read you the back. 12 fluid ounces, 5.9% alcohol volume. Not going to read the government warning. Store cold, drink fresh. Okay. Metalsome Brewing. I actually know the owner, or one of the owners, the owner, one of the owners of this brewery. Um, he probably doesn't know me. It's an acquaintance. I met him probably... 20 years ago, over 20 years ago, when I used to be in a band, uh, he was in another band, and he also uh, used to record other bands with an 8-track, so I knew him through that, through the other bands, but uh, he now owns his own brewery uh, near Memphis, Tennessee. I've been told by another friend, which is a good friend of his, good friend of mine, good friend of his, that this is a good beer. So we're going to try it out. Burn the Witch Black Lager. It is Easter Sunday in the evening. It'll be dark here in probably about an hour. Uh, I got a lot of work done today. Past weekend, this past weekend. Putting these big poles in, cleaning up behind the shipping container to do so. So let's drink us this Burn the Witch Black Lager. See what we think. Nice carbonation, nice poppy noise. It is black. I should have got a drinking glass for this just to see how dark it is. But it is a dark beer. Black lager. Burn the witch. Smells good. All right, let's have a drink of Burn the Witch after a hot day of work. I uh, grilled a, smoked a ham for the meal today. It was okay, not bad. Had deviled eggs, au gratin potatoes, green bean casserole, um, sweet potato casserole, etc., etc., Got full, felt stuffed. All right. Wow. That is good. Now, I'm not just saying that because I somewhat know the guy. I've had some other metal, some brewery beers. That were good. 
but I think this is my favorite thus far from Meddlesome. This is the kind of beer I like. I like dark beers. So yeah, as you know, I'm not a beer connoisseur. I don't have all those high-tech terms. I can't tell you what a black lager consists of chemistry-wise making it, the process. But I can tell you that I like it. It is not super hoppy like an IPA. It is smooth drinking. Very good. If you're used to drinking the, we'll call them amber beers, light amber beers, um, and you want to step up your game and drink a dark beer, this is a good one. I think anybody could, anybody that likes those kind of beers could uh, step up their game with this dark beer. It's smooth, not super hoppy. I like it. I'm going to give this beer, would I give it a 10 out of 10? I'm going to put it this way. It is very close. Today it is a 10 out of 10. Um, had I not been working so hard today, uh, slacking, lounging, uh, it might be a 9 out of 10. Just because I'm mean like that, but today it's definitely a 10 out of 10 I would definitely pick this up again and have it burn the witch black lager 10 out of 10 across the board all beers IPA stouts lagers sours across the board this is a 10 out of 10 not just saying that Enjoy the rest of your Easter. Hopefully you had a good one. Uh, hopefully you see some Project Sin videos uh, soon. I'm trying to get this thing rolling. Okay? Literally trying to get that thing rolling on its own. Driving down the road. It's got a blown motor. What are we going to do? Maybe a video series. Hopefully I get it done before the Jeep gives out altogether. Burn the witch. 10 out of 10.